person where one person indeterminately harasses, beats, threatens, abuses, or intimidates the other. One commonly used hypothesis to explain the effect of Stockholm Syndrome is based on Putin and Syria. We suggest that the funding is the individual response to trauma in becoming a victim. Identifying with the aggressor is one way that the ego defends itself. When a victim believes the same value as the aggressor, they cease to be threatened. Right. You know, that, that tells you right there, you know, a lot of these uh, African, you know, so-called Negroes, uh, Latinos and Native Americans, man, they, they will fight us because of this word, man. They don't want to hear the truth, man. They don't want to hear that the, that the white man is the fucking devil, man. They, 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 they will come against, they'll come against us for that, you know? This is why we have so much black on black crime, you know, Latinos on Latinos, man, you know? See, the thing about Stockholm Syndrome, too, is also it's the same way here in America. See, these elite bankers know how to keep you people under control and dumbed down with these gifts that they give you here in America, known as like Section 8, Medicaid, housing, food stamps, the same way as Stockholm Syndrome. See, Stockholm Syndrome, when you kidnap a person and you hold them hostage for a while, the the, uh, the hostage, you know, they get hungry or whatever. The kidnapper, what? He'll feed them. You know what I'm saying? He'll give them a, a, a pillow or a blanket to lay down at night. You know what I'm saying? To start almost like taking care of that person, even though he's holding them hostage. And the hostage start uh, developing feelings for the kidnapper. You know what I'm saying? At first, the, uh, the hostage thought the kidnapper was just like the worst, most terrible person in the world, but over a period of time, a lot of the, the, uh, the hostages start falling in love with the kidnappers. Why? Because the kidnappers provide them with food, Dang. shelter, and, and show them a little tenderness and mercy. You see what I'm saying? That's why a lot of the, the uh, hostages, when the kidnapper get arrested, they, they develop feelings and don't want to press charges against the, uh, the kidnapper. The same way here in America. When we say that, you know, the so-called white man, known as the Edomites in the Bible, is the devil, the number one deceiver on this planet, a lot of these people here that's receiving the, uh, the, the shelter and the food and the tender mercy and care of this government, they hate us for saying that. See what I'm saying? Why? Because they fell in love with their oppressor. They didn't fell in love with their kidnapper. See what I'm saying? But a real person who's kidnapped by someone will want to see the kidnapper dead. They will want to wish harm on the kidnapper. Make them feel the, the suffering and pain that, that you felt. See what I'm saying? But a, a lot of people here in America are lulled to sleep. Go ahead, bro. They, uh, that, that's how they forgot who their enemy were. You know, they, they, they forgot that these, these white folks put them in fight. Now they feel like they, they're friends with these white folks. Knowing that we were better than these white people, man. That's right. These white people put us in slavery and we forgot because, like the brother said, they gave us some houses. The fuck you white people, man. I hate you white people. The fuck you white people. I fucking hate you. I hate what y'all fucking did to us, man. Just keep walking with your fucking bitch, man. Calm down, bro. Just, just, just teach this lesson, man. Oh, yeah. let me get Psalm 139 and 2. Hold on, I got one right quick. Okay. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. See, just like my brother up here, you know, we all get upset and get pissed off with this white man. You know what I'm saying? And then, then like the scripture say, uh, a gift destroyeth the heart. Meaning what? Your mind. That's why a lot of these people here in America then fell in love with their kidnappers and their oppressors 
Why? Because, like we said, of the gifts that's given here in America. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What you got, bro? I got Psalms, um, Psalms 139 and 20. Go ahead. For thy speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. But not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and, and I am not I grieve with those that rise up against up, thee. I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my I count them my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. Go ahead. You know? You can read. No, no, bro. No, but see, that's what it says right there, man. You know, you hate the most high. You you supposed to hate your yo the people that hate the most high, man. You supposed to hate these people. You're supposed to hate for what they did to you. Now, David said he has perfect hatred for them, man. You can't get no better than that. That's perfect hatred, man. You're not supposed to trust these motherfucking devils, man. For nothing, man. The Bible says they got four tongues, man. You know? They'll say one thing, but the actions will be a whole nother. You know? This, this, this world is... I, I don't understand, but you know what? Like, we just brought it out. I understand perfectly why y'all go through this, because... Y'all, y'all, y'all sick, man. But this is this is the medicine right here if you take it. You know? Get you out of that situation that you're in, man. Because when the Most High comes with the with the chariots and the angels and stuff and the sun your house shot, you know, you're gonna be wondering. You're gonna be wondering why you got left, man. Because you sitting up there worried about this fucking. This fucking white man. When this white man never worried about you. Ever. If he can't... I, I know it's about black folks, man. They, they always want to love everybody. But nobody else loves y'all. When are y'all going to love yourself first? You know? Yep. It's crazy, man. That, that's what's wrong with the people. The, the so-called Negro race, man. Y'all, y'all so quick to fight each other instead of taking, coming back to this word and saying fuck these devils, man. That, that's what y'all not doing. Y'all not coming back to the to this word and telling these white people that they ain't shit. I ain't scared to sit there and tell a fucking person in the a white person in their face, fuck you. I hate you. No. Proverbs 14 and 12. What's up, bro? There's a uh, Proverbs 14 and 13. Even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. No. Just like the scripture said, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, because a lot of people put on a front here in America. Like they're actually happy here in America, especially the Negro, Latino, and Native American, even in their laughter, there's still sorrow in their mind, meaning their heart. Why? Because they're being oppressed here in America. They can't achieve nothing here in America. No matter how hard they work on their job, they still don't get no promotion. See what I'm saying? Instead, they, they instead of getting penalized for working hard on their job. See what I'm saying? They, they what, maybe two minutes late, the boss is riding their tail, but then you got this white boy over here that don't do nothing but come to work and drink coffee and sleep all day. No. You see what I'm saying? And then it goes on to say, and the end of that mirth is heaviness, meaning the end of that uh, good time and that good feeling is heaviness. Why? Because you still got to face the same old problem here in America. He was black in the Bible tell you, you don't know your Bible. No, he was an Arab. Arab, man. He know he wasn't. He's a Jew. He's a Jew. He's a Jew. That's why you white folks don't know the Bible. 
All right, forget the wife, man, because she's so Hey, quick. and if you do it again, the cops going to arrest you because I press charges on you. I don't care, and you know what? I'm making yeah. money. Hey, well, Wait till I go on break. Right okay. Now, okay. But like I said, that's why you white folks don't know the wife. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. The Lord was not no error. The Lord is a so-called Negro. He was a Jew. And that's what's wrong with you white people. Y'all don't want to hear that the, that the, the so-called Messiah is a black man. That's why we, I always call you white people the devil. Because you always lying. Always oh. deceiving people. Now first, you're going to sit there and say the Lord ain't, ain't black then. She's going to say the Lord is an error. You don't know what the Lord is. Because the Lord is not dealing with you. You worship Satan. That's your Lord. Yeah. That's blank, right. Point blank period. That's who y'all worship the Satan. That's right. That's who white folks worship is the, is the devil. Satan. Why? Because they do everything that the devil and Satan do. They lie, steal, kill, and destroy. That's right. Alright, this is Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. See? King David is telling the Lord, keep not thy silence. Meaning he wants the Lord to hurry up and come and destroy this place. He wants the Lord to destroy this wicked king. Just like we do. Why? Because you got these, these liars, these devils, these so-called white people, these Edomites, according to the Bible, ruling this planet. Keep reading. For love, thy enemies make a tumult. Who is our enemies? The Bible finna tell you. Keep reading. And they... And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Meaning they're very high-minded and proud against you Israelites. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Just like that fucking cracker bitch that just came up here. Man. That's right. She, she had it all proud as shit. But, you know, the most I got something for her, man. That's why they walk with their head high. They look down on you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. That's right, and they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, man. Against who? The children of Israel. What is part of that crafty counsel? That's is NATO and the EU, and it still goes on today. Go ahead, boy. Let me let me say this real quick, brother. Do you think all these other nations about to have war against each other? And but they all are in agreements of keeping us down, you know? Because like the scripture says, when the wicked are in rulership, you know, the, uh, the people mourn, mourn yep. you know? But when the righteous are in rulership, you know, people rejoice. I'm just paraphrasing. But that, that, that shows you that all these other nations know who we are. They know who we are. They don't want us to see us above. Because if they see us above, they know where they have to go. They taking counsel against us, man. That's right. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. See, that's why they come out with stuff like Ebola. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the intro virus. The Chikagunga virus. Yeah. That's part of cutting us off as being a nation. That's right. By telling us what? That, that the Lord is a white man. That's part of cutting us off as being in a nation. Saying that the Lord is an Arab. That's cutting us off from being a nation. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Keep reading, bro. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. See, they're trying to wipe us off the planet of the earth. See. Who else? They, what other nation of people are they trying to wipe off the planet of the earth? Name. It's you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why they come with Planned Parenthood. So you can't be fruitful and multiply. That's right. See what I'm saying? That's why they come with eugenics. That's right. That's why they come with birth control, abortions. That's right. Why to keep you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans from populating this earth? Why? Because the white man know that you Israelites, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are the greatest people on this planet. You get what I'm saying? That's why they're trying to kill you off. Why do you think you got police? Gunning down black men on the streets like dogs. That's right. They don't they don't gun down white people like dogs in the street. All right, well, you see plenty of shows like cops and, 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 and jail and, and lock up 
Well, why, white folks buck up against the police, they don't do nothing to them. But let you Negro Latino and Native American say one word to the police, they breaking your arm, necks, and locking you up. That's true. That's see what I'm saying? We even got proof right here saying it's true. That's true as fuck, man. See what I'm saying? Hey, can I get a picture of you guys then? No, no, just the sign, you know. Oh, we can see. You guys. I'm a street photographer. No, yeah, I mean, you can take a picture of the sign. Because, see, uh, but see, here's the thing. We don't know if you're a CIA op or what. You see no, what I'm man, saying? I'm a street photographer. Well, I mean, you can take a picture of the sign. That's uh, cool, you know. I was a CIA op, I wouldn't have asked you. I'd just shoot you from across the street. You never even know about it. Well, see, we being watched by the government now. See what I'm saying? Because of what we doing. This, this Bible is a threat to this government. See what I'm saying? And when the truth comes out, just like when we tell the Irish and Italians that y'all are Israelites too, because y'all come from Negro and bloodline, they don't like to hear that. They, they want to lock us up. It's it. true, man. It's no tribes. See? Even he know. See, you might be an Israelite, man. You see what I'm saying? I am. I'm so, Scottish, Irish, but I mean, back see? Can you trace it back, man? You're an Israelite. Tribes. You're an Israelite. Exactly. You see? According to your father, right? Hey. See? You're an Israelite. It's about that's for you. Huh? He begat me. You know See? I mean? He's an Israelite, man. Zabak, that's for you, man. And he, he <laughs> That's for you, Zabak. You know? So y'all y'all camp other camps in, in GMS too. Stop doing that, man. Y'all y'all test the spirit first, man. That's right. That that's what you, you do. That's right, man. I feel you guys. I'm down, man. Yeah. See, we just had to tell the truth according to the Bible. You see? You guys let me shoot, you know. Nah, you can't, see, we can't. Okay. Do that. Ah, do that. You know? Now, we let you take pictures of the signs all you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we can't just sit here and it's take okay. photos. Can't be on phone. Right, because, see, it ain't about us. Yeah. Right. You know, we just out here doing the work of the Lord. Now, how would we look standing here posing for you, you know, like, like yeah, you know, super Israelites? You know, we just out here preaching the word. Now, you know. It ain't there have been people out here took photos out here. Yeah. But, you know, they haven't been back out here. But I appreciate you asking, though. Yeah, but, right. you know, it, it ain't about us, man. You know, yeah, we just out here teaching the truth. And it's like getting different personalities. I just shoot the street. I'm a street photographer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. We understand. We do. Yeah. But we understand. You got a job, not, you know? Like he said, like the brother said, it's not about us. It's just about right, the whole right. side. You know? Right. So it, it would look kind of funny, you know, getting pictures taken. I don't want you guys to pose, though. Just, you know what I mean? Just be straight up. If I post up down there, man, maybe I can shoot. Well, yeah. I mean, that's... That's on you. That's I mean, on you. We, we, you know, we, we're telling you, but that's on you. You know, you're a grown man. You do what you want to do. You know? I don't want to disrespect you guys, though. Well, see, that's why we said, you know, not to do it because, like I said, it's not about us. You know, right. we just out here being the mouthpiece of the Lord. Right. And just know you're an Israelite, man, and, and the Lord come to save you, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Our peoples, man. Yeah, there that's you go. Right. You're our brother, man. There you go. Love you too, bro. See, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all get See, that's how spiritual it is, man. Yeah. It is not about skin color. It's about lineage and, and nationality, man. Exactly. Just because we say the white man is the devil, that don't mean all white people that look white is the devil because even white people that look white are Israelites. You know? They come from Negro blood, and he just was a, a witness to it, man. There's, there's, a, there's even folks that dark as us, man. Dark as us. That's right. That daughter fucking Edomites, man. That's right. You know, you never know. You just never know until you test that spirit, man. That's right. But, you know, a lot of y'all so quick to jump off and, and want to start arguing. And, you know, hey, I love calling these, these white people devils. I do. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But you got to sit there and test it first, you know? That's right. You know? But a devil's going to re reveal himself off back, there you know? Go. They're going to reveal themselves off back. There you know, go. they'll try to be sneaky at first, but you keep going. Long enough, you'll catch him, man. There you'll you catch him. There you go. There you go. For that, uh, this is Psalms 83 and 5. For that, uh, consulted together with one consent. Meaning there was all confederate and one agreement. They all took a unanimous vote on who, what nation they want to bring down and kill. Go ahead. They are confederates against thee. The Tabernacle of Edom. See? The Tabernacle of Edom. Number one on the list. Now, who is the Edomites? Those are descendants of Esau, today known as you white folks. That's right. That's your biblical nationality. You're known as Edomites, descendants of Esau, 
and Amalek and uh uh what else uh the Macedonians. That's right. See what I'm saying? Those and Khazar. All of y'all are known are known today as what? White people. That's right. That's your nationality according to the Bible. Everyone on this planet has a nationality according to the Bible. There's not one person walking on this planet right now that does not have a nationality according to the Bible. That's right. Go ahead, and the Ishmaelites. See, the Ishmaelites are who? Those are one of Abraham's sons coming from who? Ishmael. Today they're known as the Arabs. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, boy. Of Moab. Of Moab. Those are you so-called Chinese. And the Hagarines. The Hagarines are also African. Those are uh, descendants of Hagar. See what I'm saying? She was an African. Gabal and Ammon. All right, Ammon is known as what? The Japanese. See what I'm saying? Everybody has a nationality on this planet. Keep going, bro. Amalek. Amalek or who? You top Edomites. You top white people. You fake Jews. Uh, Just like here in Indianapolis. The top white family here in Indianapolis is who? The Eskenazis. Those are the those are the Amalekites, the fake Jews. The Philistines. Philistines are who? More Africans. With the inhabitants, Tariq. Alright, those are more uh Tari is Yeah. Tari is more African. A sir. Also joined with them. Those are the Elamites, the East Indians. They have hope in the children of Lot. And who are the children of Lot? That's you Chinese and Japanese. You Moabites and Ammonites. That's, that's why y'all look like inbreds. That's right. That's, that's why y'all look like Down syndrome babies. You, you know? suffer from mongoloidism, man. You know? Uh, hope in the children of Lot, Selah. Uh -huh. It says, right. this is mine. Do unto them as unto the Mediterranean. That's the Midianites. Oh, Midianites. God. It's lucky, like, y'all. Uh, do unto them as unto the Midianites. Keep reading. As to Sisera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor, they become as dirt, I mean, as dung from the earth. What is dung? Another word for dung is doo doo. Dookie. See what I'm saying? David was praying to the Lord that he destroyed these heathen nations and turned them into dung, meaning doo doo. Just the same way we cried out and praying that the Lord come back and destroy America and turn everybody into dung or doo doo. That's, that's like another, another saying, you know, where you say, you know, this is crap. That, that's like the worst thing ever, you know? That's, that's what David was hoping for, that, that these people would, would be the lowest thing on earth, man. That's, that's what they wishing for. Keep uh, reading. Keep reading. Okay. Um, this is 83 and, 83 and 11. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zebit. Zeb, ye all their princes as Zebaya and as Z Zamuna. Zamuna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the house of God in possession. See? And that's what they've done today. Just like those fake Jews that sit on there. Okay. Just like them fake Jews, they took the house of God into their possession. Now they going around calling themselves what? Jews. Those are the real identity thieves. You white folks are calling yourself Jews and you're not. We are the real Jews of the Bible. You see what I'm saying? You took the house of God, which is the Negro, Latino, and Native American, the children of Israel, you took it into their possession. Now you walking around with 
the shield of David, the Magan Javadah, and claiming it as yours. You took our heritage from us and wearing it as yours. You walking around with our candlestick, our menorah, and saying it's yours. But it's not. It belongs to the house of God, which is the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We the real Jews of the Bible. Not you white people. You are not Israelites. So quit portraying yourself in these movies as you're Israelites, as you're Abraham, Moses, and Noah. Because you're not. You're imposters. Y'all try to squeeze yourselves in there, man. Try to squeeze yourselves into that inheritance. But your forefathers sold y'all inheritance, man, for some raw food, man. Y'all are real identity thieves. You see what I'm saying? We know who we are. But you white people, y'all hate to be called Edomites. Y'all want to be everything else under the sun than what y'all are. Y'all are known as Edomites according to the Bible. Y'all are not Christians. Y'all are not Jews. Y'all are not disciples. Y'all are not saints according to the Bible. Only the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans of America fit that description. White people is not the Lord. The Bible tells that the Lord is a so-called Negro, not a white man. See what I'm saying? you know what? Them heathens, them other nations, are the original homosexuals, man. Hey, it hey. wasn't meant for Israel to be homosexual. See, you you know, see what I'm saying? Over there, over there in uh, Afghanistan, he would have got his head cut off for being a fruit, man. What? But That's America. the ways of America, man. That's that democracy is turning you to your fruitcake. You see what I'm saying? A twinkle toes. No. This is not uh, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, who is the wicked? They run this whole planet. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who runs this world? You international bankers. You Rothschilds. You Oppenheimer. You Rockefellers. You DuPonts. You Gettys. So forth and so on. The 13 elite banking family. That's the wicked. You so-called white people, you Amalekites, you fake Jews. That's you the right. ones that run this world. Don't no Negro run this world. That's right. Don't no uh, uh, Latino and Native American run this earth. That's right. We run through the earth, running from you white folks, but That's we don't right. run this earth, man. Oh, no. You know what they're quick to say, though? What's that? We, yeah, we got a black president. He ain't black. We got a black president. That's just a light-skinned African, man. No. But, but see, what they, they fail to realize is Amer uh, Obama, he, he doesn't rule the world, man. So, no, so what's the point of saying well, you got a black president for? He don't make the decisions, you know? Right. That, that, that shows you that y'all don't even know your, your own politics, man. You know? He just a, a spokesperson for America. That's it. That's it. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Now, how does he cover the faces of the judges thereof? Hmm. Let's see. Who does he have as a picture of the Lord? The white man. Who do he who does he have as the picture of Abraham? As Moses? The white man. Who he put up on TV as superheroes? The white man. No. He covered up all the faces of the judges. See what I'm saying? The real judges are who? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why do you think judges in the courtroom wear black robes? Why do you think that? Because they know the real men of the Bible, the 
The real judges of the Bible are, the, are dark brown skinned men. That's right. They know this. But that's why they put on black robes. Here, over there in, in England, they have what? Nappy woolly wigs. That's right. Trying to do what? Fit the description of the real Jews of the Bible. Or the real Israelites. They try and disguise themselves as us, but they're not us. That's, that's right. That's why they can't claim to call themselves what? They cannot call themselves Jews. They call themselves Jewish. That's why they call themselves Israelis. That's why they say that Israel is the state of Israel, not the nation of Israel. That's right. Why? Because you still have 11 nations that's still missing from the land of Israel. That's right. Why? Because those are not the real Jews of the Bible. It was prophesied in the Bible that the real Jews would be scattered across the earth by the ways of ships, by the ways of boats. That's right. If not, where? And who is he? If it's not the white man, then who is it? Who is going around portraying himself as the Lord or as the saints of the Bible? That's right. That's if right. it's not him, then who is it? We sure ain't doing it. We the ones that's up there, uh, what, living chemtrails. That's right. You know, we ain't poison, putting uh, what, sodium fluoride in the water. We not coming up with GMO food. So who is it? You it, know? It ain't the Negroes putting estrogen in your water. Exactly. Half the Negroes here in America can't even spell estrogen. <laughs> that's right. So you know it ain't us doing it. That's right. That's right. You know? It just shows, I mean, for real. It, on a for real level, who is he? Right. Who yeah. is he that's doing all this, man? Like bro said, it ain't our people that's making GMO foods. Our people don't even know what GMO foods is. Okay. That's probably, if you say, you know what GMOs is, what's them the new LeBrons that came out? You know? Or oh, that thing is a new car. You know? What's up, bro? He's like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cop that new GMO tomorrow. You, you see know what I'm that? saying? Not knowing he already ate a GMO. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So it ain't our people, man. We ain't the no. ones splicing fish and turning them into transgender fish. You know? Oh, that, we, you know what? That's we barely know how to feed a goldfish. Hey, they, they, there was a news article that came out. They, they just genetically modified or genetically made a, a fucking male rod, man. They, 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 I, 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 this is the sickness that I'm talking about, man. They, they sat there in the laboratory just to make some, some rods, man. So I, I have no idea why, but this is, this is what they do, man. But I got some. Who would sit there and make in a laboratory a, 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 a male organism, a male penis in the lab. Who would just sit there and do that, man? That, that goes back to the scripture, what it says. Who does this thing, man? Who is he that does this wickedness, man? You got to be a sick individual to just sit there and like, hmm, I'm bored today. Let me get some, some chemicals and pieces of skin and I'm going to make me a ding-ding today. You got to be a wicked person to sit there and do some shit like that, man. That, that's... This is uh, Psalms 49 and 11. The inward thought is that there ha- Oh, I got the wrong one. Oh, keep reading. The inward thought is that the house shall continue forever. See, they don't think that the Lord is going to come and destroy this place. That's why the white man made plans that they're going to build this new hotel here in Indianapolis in the year 2025. Why? Because they think they're going to be here forever. Not knowing that you have about shooting out a shot that's coming to destroy this place, man. And they do the place to all generations. See? They think they're going to be able to pass it down from generation to generation. From these old Eskenazis down to the new Eskenazis 15 years later. They call their lands after their own name. See? They call their lands after their own name. They conquered this land from who? The Native Americans, known as who? Indians. And they called it what? Indianapolis. A metropolis of Indians. And then they got a monument down the street 
commemorating the slaughter of the Native American Indians here in Indianapolis that they took this land from. See what I'm saying? They the ones that named these lands Kentucky or, or Minnesota or, uh, uh, or uh, what else? Uh, Nevada. That's right. Texas. Utah. Right. They the ones that gave these places this name. America. From America Vespucci. That's right. What you got, bro? It's Psalms. Uh, 55 20. He has put forth his hands against such as being at peace with him. See, did he not do that to the Native American Indians? He put forth his hand and he slaughtered them as, as such as be at peace with him. The Native Americans greeted him with open arms and peace. That's right. But what the white man do? He slaughtered them. That's and right. He took this land from them. And then lied to everybody in America. What's up, what's up, bro? Hey, we all from. We all from. See, hey, you Ephraimites, man. That's right. Y'all are Israelites. Go back and get learn who you are, man. Just like we were saying, he took this land from the natives and then lied to everybody else that the, that the natives sold their land for a handful of beans. That's right. But the natives was the one that taught the white man how to farm. Taught him agriculture. That's right. What you got to say, man? What, what you got to say? I see some doubt in your mind. What you I got? believe in God. Oh, yeah, there is a power. <laughs> there is a power. Listen, I want to be out of the videotape. Oh, you, you drunk, know. man. Go over, over there. the street, you drunk, man. Over there. Your over speech there. is slurred, you drunk. Man. Over there. I've been drinking. Yeah, go over the street, bro. I don't, don't want to hurt your feeling with this Bible because you're not coherent of what's going on. Yeah. So I want you to be aware. What's going on when this Bible comes out? You see what I'm saying? Because you're already impaired. You almost failed just then. You drunk. Yeah. So go sit down somewhere yeah, and rest your nerves, bro. Listen, guys. Go have a seat over there, man. Yeah. Go have a seat, man. Go. Do y'all ever listen to what y'all want to feel? Yeah, we know how we want to feel. We want to get the hell up out of here. Exactly. That's how we feel. You're in a Halloween costume? <laughs> no, you in a Halloween costume. No, you sir, in dark. I'm not. This yes, you are. Dress. No, well, that means you need to go take it back and get your refund. Exactly. You in total darkness, man. You don't even know who you are. Damn straight, I am in darkness. There you go. We know you in darkness. Then you with me. The devil just admitted he's in darkness. Exactly. Go have a seat, man. Go over there and go sober up. Go, 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 go sober up before the police get you for public intoxication. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, go sober up. Go sober up, man. I'm just, I'm just curious what you guys are preaching about. The Bible. Just go sit down and just listen. Yeah, we're preaching the Bible. Just but, go sit down. But, yeah. but it, it doesn't matter to you because you think we're in Halloween costume. Exactly. Why would we be out here? It looks like a Halloween costume. But why would we be out here on the first? We're wearing, we're, we're, What's that jersey? What's that? What's that? What's that jacket underneath that Halloween costume? It's a leather jacket. But why would we be standing out here on the first of November wearing Halloween costume when Halloween was yesterday? That y'all didn't get the you, you got dress shoes on? No, I got dress shoes on. Do you got dress shoes on? I don't need no dress shoes on. You I got, got slacks. On, you I got, got on boots. On? I got on boots. Wait, wait. You said we got to have slacks on to teach the Bible. I got, We got to have dress shoes. Yeah, you're trying the Bible, to teach the Bible, man. You're, just, you're making a. We are teaching the Bible. So get on, it's Satan. Very get, on, bad. It's get, on very Satan. Bad. get on, Satan. Get on, Satan, before you get your feelings hurt, hurt man. Oh, get man. on, Satan. We're telling you now. That's right, man. You're about to get your feelings you hurt, now. man. You now, better, God, God you better does not, go ahead and move. God does not want violence. Up, God does not want violence. Okay. Uh, Did you know that? Read Did that. You, read that. Did you know that the Most High is the God of war? All right. Proverbs. This is Proverbs 12 and 7. The wicked are overthrown. Right right now, you represent the wicked. The wicked are overthrown. What does overthrown mean? No, they're, they're being cast down. They're being destroyed does right the, now. Does the Bible the describe... The wicked are overthrown and are not. Sir, sir. But the house of the righteous shall stand. That's what's right. The, what's You've the house of the righteous? Voice. You've got a lot of voice. I understand yeah. that. What's the house of the righteous? What are the people sitting on the corner back of the back? Up. back up, back up, back up. You violate my personal space. Back up. <laughs> Hey, stand, stand over there, man. I'm All right. right here, man. Proverbs 12 and 21. There shall no evil happen to the just. Who are the just? The children of Israel. The that's Negroes, right. Latinos, Native Americans, the ones that's trying to follow. How do you explain the World Trade Center? 
What you mean I explained the world trade and the government did it? There's nothing to explain. Exactly. Okay. What, what you mean? So what? airplanes didn't really crash into it. No, your your people blew up the you, world trade. My people. But my people. The, the, there shall no evil my happen. My people now. There shall no that. evil happen to you the guys are assholes. You an asshole. Take your punk head down the street and we assholes. If you don't like what the fuck we saying, then move. Yeah. Carry your dumb ass down man. the street. Dude. Carry your dumb ass down the yeah, street and we shit, assholes. Man, shit, was a Before I put our foot in your here. asshole. Put your punk ass on somewhere. Goddamn demon. What are you talking about, man? Shit. Like I said, Proverbs 12 and 21. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief and you's about to get filled with mischief. That's the, right. Through the spirit of how about shooting y'all with shot. That's right. Hell, if you don't like what we say, take your ass down the street. Nobody called you up here, man. I wouldn't sit there and argue with somebody that I think is a dummy. That'll make you a dummy. <laughs> Damn. I That's say. what's wrong with these American people, man. Hey, y'all still got that Halloween spirit on y'all, don't you? Man, we gave them clear warning to move your ass before you get your feelings hurt. Now you ain't got your feelings hurt. So why are you just stepped into the lion's den? Yeah. We don't play them games with you fucking, man. That's right. We don't play these games. This is this is a real thing right here, man. So you thought we was in Halloween costume. Well, guess what? You, you, hey, you the trick that got a treat from the Bible. See what I'm saying? You know what he you know what he wanted? He wanted he wanted some pastor shit, some, some church shit, you know? Oh. He, he wanted us to be all nice and sweet. Isaiah uh, 30 and 10. He uh he thought we was gonna say some nice things to him, but we real men. We gonna say real things. Man. That's right. We ain't gonna spare how you feel. You said Isaiah 20 and No, 30 and uh I think 30 and 10. Oh okay. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 10. It's Isaiah 30 and 10. We say to, to the seers. What, who are the seers? Seers in the ancient day were also known as what? Prophets. That's right. So we are the prophets of today. Lord willing, we summon those men. Keep reading, bro. See not. And to, to the prophets, prophesy not unto us. Right thing. Just like old boy. He wanted to hear what our vain opinion was or what we thought about the World Trade Center or what our view was about everything else. See what I'm saying? He was incoherent. He was drunk. We tried to tell him to move on before you get the feelings hurt. But what happened? Keep reading, bro. Speak unto us, smooth thing. Prophesize uh, deceit. See, that's what he wanted us to do. He wanted us to lie to him with smooth words. No. Then that spirit in him, what's up, bro? That spirit in him rose up. That demon came out, and then he wanted to call us an asshole. So guess what? We retaliated in self-defense and cursed him out through the spirit of how about shit I was shot. Because why? This Bible was cutting him because I was reading precept from the word of the Lord. That's right. That demon didn't want to hear that. That's right. Keep going, bro. This is 11. 30 and 11. I mean, Isaiah. 30 and 11. Get ye out of the way. See? He telling us to get out the way. Get out the streets. We assholes. We don't really need to be out here. We, we preaching nonsense. That's what they say in their mind. Sometimes they come out loud. Keep reading, bro. Turn aside out of the path. Because the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. See? They don't want to hear the words of the Lord. They don't want to hear that the Lord is a so-called Negro. They don't want to hear that the children of Israel are you Negroes, Latino, and Native American. They don't want to hear that the real Jews of the Bible are dark brown skinned men known as Negroes. You see what I'm saying? Negroes, Jamaicans, and Haitians. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear lies. And we would just say, you know what? Hey, everybody, the Lord is an Arab who came from the Middle East. He came from Saudi Arabia. And he came to die for everybody. That's what they want to hear. And we, we, if we're out here hooping and hollering, speaking in that babbage that Hashem, la, 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 we have a whole sidewalk full of people. But because we out here telling the truth, don't nobody want to hear it. Everybody got their own opinion about things. But you know what's crazy?